Here's a video of the Dakota wire winder actually rolling up wire. Um, we're starting off a little bit slower with our arms up in the air so it's not quite so tight. We don't want it really tight to start with uh, because that will make it a lot more difficult to get the ball of wire off the roll once it's full. So we're driving with it, keeping a little bit of slack in there, just trying to get a few inches of wire all the way across that uh, main bar there. Once we get that, that also helps with visual. You can visually see where you're driving a little bit easier too. Now we're just going to be kind of going forward and backwards a little bit, pulling some of the wire with the machine, pulling the rest of the wire just with the orbital motor of the wire winder itself. As you see, he's just going to go back and forth a little bit, let the orbital motor do majority of the work and stay in one spot instead of having to follow that wire all the way around the pasture. This will roll up right now in this video right around an eighth of a mile in this short uh, minute and a half or so video. Uh, we'll have that all rolled up. And he's just driving with it and then backing up, pulling some of that wire with it. But it's always, that orbital motor is always rolling up the wire, even when he's going backwards. It has enough power to handle it going forward with it and backwards against it. As you can see now, he's not worried about the tightness of it because he's got enough inches on there. that will make removal of this wire that you, saw, you can see in a different video go very smoothly. It's just feeding back and forth. He's kind of giving it a little bit of angle to keep the ball even instead of just letting it all build up on one side of the uh, winder. Now we got enough bars in place so when he's done that last part of the wire won't slam in your face and it doesn't continue to spin.